I used to think golf was the enemy. Golf is a good walk spoiled. It's a quote normally attributed to Mark Twain. It's been my relationship with this form of torture for the better part of three decades. And I'm a relative newcomer to the sport. Most of the folks I find myself playing with got some insight into this in their early childhood. But I was busy playing soccer and baseball. And besides, golf was for country clubs. Not something my family did when I was a kid. So I didn't really take it up until my mid-40s. Can't remember exactly when or where. But suffice it to say, I took it as other physical challenges to be tried, assessed, focused on, and certainly improved. And I've had lots of other distractions to keep me busy in my life over that period of time. Raising kids, rally, launching a couple of businesses to mention a few. So golf has never been, and really still isn't, a critically important focus in my life. The game seems to have other ideas for me though. It's kept nagging me to improve. Now I'm a 28 handicap. Been there for the past three to four years. That means I usually hover around 100 strokes per round. So what have I done to improve that? I subscribe to videos. I've taken lessons from a pro, more than one. Tried to get out twice a week during the season, but usually once. I've tried new equipment. It must be the clubs, right? And I'll score the occasional par and even the occasional birdie. But before the round is over, my score will regress to the mean, and my day might end up as good as a 96, but more than likely, it's 100. I'm a 28 handicap. My record shows that. I believe that. Now, with that belief, what chance do you think I have of improving that? That's who I am. No more, no less. It defines my version of a glass ceiling. It's a limiting belief. And you know what? It's okay. It's finally okay, because I have no reason for it to be anything more. I don't want you to confuse this statement with limiting beliefs that keeps people from living a full and exemplary life but I do not need a low handicap to be a happy guy. You've heard me propose that expectation is the source of all frustration. Well, it's not the bad shot that made me frustrated. It's the expectation that the shot will be Tiger Wood-like. And in the water goes the ball. So here's my clarity presence aha moment. I limit the expectations. No longer telling myself I should be able to break 90 or I should be able to pop that ball right up out of the rough and onto the green. There's a reason golf has a handicap system. So we 28 handicappers can play with single digit guys and still have fun. So I've truncated Mark Twain's quote, golf is a good walk, period. And I know it comes with good exercise and camaraderie and usually a great cold beer at the end. With no shoulds attached, it no longer frustrates me. Oh, I have my moments, but they quickly subside as I remember limiting expectations. And if you haven't figured it out, my golf story is a metaphor for just about anything that frustrates us to distraction. Applying some clarity and presence has vastly improved my opinion of the game and my enjoyment therein. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.